Hello everybody, welcome. I want to show you what's new for you in MPS 2021.2. Code completion, my good old friend, and I believe yours as well, has become more powerful in this version of MPS. It can now pop up the completion menu automatically after a some delay. When you type part of a word and then stop typing, it pops up the dialog and then you can select the option and you know, confirm with enter the usual way or you can just continue typing and the menu will not interfere with the way you type code so it's just a matter of waiting a little bit to get the the menu displayed so you no longer have to explicitly type control space each time you want uh, some assistance from the completion menu. Now this can be configured obviously. So in the editor general code completion now you can check or uncheck this checkbox that will enable or disable the feature. Your code in MPS can be spell checked. So each time you make a typo, the misspelled word is underlined so that your attention is attracted to it. And then you might go and fix it. Alternatively, you might right click and add it to a dictionary. MPS will create a dictionary for you in the project home folder where it will store all, store all the words you add this way so that they are not reported as uh, misspelled words next time. Clearly, this piece of code contains a few typos and this language at the moment doesn't enable spell checking for the messages in the trace command. To enable them, you have to go to the editor of that particular concept, which happens to be this one, and in the inspector for the cell that you want to have spell checked, you have to enable spell check. Now this enables spell checking for this particular cell in this language so that now users of that language will see typos right away. Now two new things in base language. The first one, now properties can actually be used to implement methods. So Here's a class sample which now implements the value object interface defined above. Now obviously the class misses implementation of these two methods. Now we could declare a property of type t and call it value and now we get implementation of getter well and a private setter. So let's make that setter public and we are done. Now both methods are now implemented. Notice the setter in properties returns the value of the property. So it might be a bit surprising this, this, this doesn't have void return type but the actual type of the, uh, of the value you're setting. As a side note, the diamond operator is now supported. So you can have the right hand side of an assignment done without the type parameters obviously you can be specific and specify the type parameters if you wish or you can get rid of them this release is no exception to the rule of delivering version control system integration improvements with Embry release. Let me show you what you can look forward to. First, the div view is displayed as one of the editor tabs, which in our, in our opinion is more consistent and more convenient. If you prefer the old way when um, the div view was part of a tool window 
you can revert to that by changing setting you know, in, in the configuration. Uh, second, handling of attributes has been improved. So now changes solely to the um, to the attributes, like if you add a comment to a, to a base language method, is now treated properly as such, and not that the whole method is has changed. So the granularity has been improved. Well, and last but not the least, uh, wrapping nodes is now detected properly. So here's block of code, several lines here, while on the in the new version I've got them wrapped in with an if and it's clearly highlighted in the code that you know these lines here are the same it's only the if that wraps them that has been added also if you move lines in the body it doesn't really you know impact the algorithm it still correctly highlights the wrapping plus the node that has been moved and down here one more example of the same sort now this line of code has been wrapped in a try catch statement. Well, in addition, obviously, the variable, the declaration has been moved outside of the try catch, and the debut properly highlights all these changes. Okay, that's it for today. These are the features I wanted to highlight. If you want to see a complete list, check out the What's New document. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.